hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're doing a simple client makeup transformation if you're interested in seeing how i got this beautiful simple look please do keep on watching so i am using the micellar water to cleanse her face and prep her face for the makeup next i prepped her eyebrows as well using the laura mercier powder and i'm using the spoola to brush the eyebrows upwards or she has thick eyebrows so I decided just to fill in and not do anything much and guys I always keep saying follow the eyebrow shape okay make sure you, you actually do so don't do anything other than following the eyebrow shape to get a beautiful look that would fit the person's face or your face I'm using the pencil from Davis Cosmetics in the shade Dark Chocolate to draw the eyebrow. As I said, she was already hairy. I didn't need to do anything much. Just fill in some gaps and that would be it. Then I went in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee and I used that to carve her eyebrows. Now I'm using a flat brush from Urban Decay to apply this product. I extended the product generously onto her eyelid to prep it as well. Next, I'm using the, the Mary Kay foundation in the shade Bronze 1 and 2. I actually mixed the two together to get her face shade. Next, I'm using the same toffee to highlight her under eyes, the bridge of her nose, her forehead, uh, the cupid's bow, and her chin. And I'm using the Huda Beauty 3-in-1 Beauty Blending Sponge. To apply the product or to press the product into her skin evenly she did not want any magnificent outfit or outlook she just wanted a simple natural makeup so I tried as much as I could to give her that I am now prepping her face or setting her face with the Laura Mercier powder and I am actually dusting off the powder with a natural shade from the Fit Me contour palette called Cappuccino. Next I am using the shade from Who's That Girl palette called Dubai as a transition shade. Next I went in with a beautiful light orangey color called Moon Dust for the outer corner and dragging it into her inner crease it wasn't so obvious because her color was dark she has a, a dark skin but you would see everything would blend seamlessly and then obvious when i applied the green color or the green shade called energy you could now see the orangey shade popping up at the sides it was really simple but yet classy makeup that, that we got in the end. Next I'm using this shimmery shade from the same Who's That Girl palette called Man Eater. Such a funny name. <laughs> and so I used that to cut her crease, just a smaller portion. I like the shade Manita because it's bronzy and it complements her skin so well and it fits her skin perfectly. It looks like an ancient color. Next I am blending the uh, outer corner with the energy shade and the moon dust shade. She did not want eyelashes, she wanted it as natural as possible, so I used the mascara from Macaron J. 
just to you know apply onto her lashes I then went ahead to contour her nose lightly since we just wanted a very neutral outlook I gave her a little blush to add some warmth and color to her skin I then lined her lips using the same pencil I used for her eyebrow just to line her lips a bit I then apply this neutral shade glossy lipstick from color saloon it really blended with her skin I like the color of her lips I went in with a glossy finish from note which actually popped her lips up because of her color I want to give her something that would make her skin pop up a bit something that would just say hello on her skin <laughs> so yes this is the finished look very simple everyday makeup look and as you can see she's so excited thank you so much for watching guys see you in my next video